Hey guys, it's LEGO Fan 9898 and today I'm coming at you with another LEGO review. And today it is on the sports theme. This set is set 3432, comes with 451 pieces. And if you bought it back in 2003, it would have cost you 50 bucks. You're going to be paying a little bit more for it if you try to get it nowadays. It's a very cool set though, so I'm sure some of you have not seen this set. 2003 was a long time ago over 10 years ago when this set came out. So if you're looking for a really cool set, an old set, then you might want to pick up this. I haven't seen many reviews of this set on YouTube, but yeah, that's about it for the set details. Overall, it is quite cool, and I'm going to do this review much differently because it is not a normal set. It's a play set because you more play with it, you don't take it apart and use pieces and stuff like that because there's not too many pieces for, like, pieces you're going to use. Most of them are pretty big plates. So let's jump right into the mini. So let's start off with the red team. You may have already noticed that these minifigures do not look like normal minifigures. As you can see, their arms look a lot different and their legs do. So I'll just show you why these minifigures are different. If you look right here... He has springs inside his legs so that he can pick up the basketball and throw it. And also these really cool arms which have weird deformed hands so that he can pick up a basketball. So these guys all have really the same clothes except for their face. Their face is the only thing that's different. We look right here. Um, he has kind of an angry face, super happy face. Um, then we got like another kind of happy face and they just all look like basketball players right here and as you can see again all of them do have these springs in them and back printing with the numbers on their back so yeah that's about it for these minifigures not too much um, detail mostly because they're just different they couldn't put leg printing on these and plus this was before Lego started putting leg printing on a lot of a lot of figures so let's move on to the purple team. Again, these figures are all very similar except for their numbers. They are the purple or dark blue team. As you can see, they have the number on the back also. And they have also the spring legs so that they can play the basketball game too. A um, bunch of different faces. These faces would be useful if you're doing stop motion animations or just anything because most of these faces you can't normally get in Lego City sets nowadays. So let's jump into the way this set works and the features of it. So here is the court and I got two figures on it. One is at the free throw line and even if you don't know too much about basketball you can still understand that these guys you push them down like that, they pick up the basketball, you pull them back, let go, and they shoot it. Um, it's kind of difficult. Sometimes you got to get really good to <laughs> make it every time. Like both of those I missed. And then we got a goalie right here. Even though there isn't really a goalie in basketball, there is this little movement thing, which I will show you later, which allows me to block shots so that it's not just this person aiming and trying to shoot. Now, obviously, sometimes this ball gets messed up and it doesn't throw it very well. This game isn't too fast paced, it's not like a normal basketball game, because you can like turn it like this, and then you pass it to your other players. You really need two players to enjoy playing this game. So let's move on to the mechanism for the goalie type person for this basketball. So set. behind the basketball hoop right here, there is this little thing that you can spin around and it uses the goalie to block shots. Now obviously when you have all the players in and you're playing against someone, you can be back here trying to block their shots as they try to shoot. Like that. So I'm just going to give you an overview of this set now to show you like what's around and what the complete set looks like. First off on this left side we have a bench which can be used to block the ball once you're playing. So this can turn and be a bench for players. Now obviously these players can't sit down because they have these special legs that are springs in them, have springs in them. So if we move along here, you can see there is also some stands over here with a scoreboard. So if you played a five, you can put it up. And then on the other side, there is the exact same mechanism for the defense. 
And if we move over here, we got another stand part. And then you can see right there, there's a bunch of places for these people to go, which I will put those all on later and show you what a game really looks like on this board. So here is how a game would work. The ball starts out right here with one team, like the red team we'd say, and this person can take it and pass it to another red team or try to shoot in the basket which is over here which you can't see which I'll show later. So he can pass it over here and let's say I passed it to number eight like I just did. Then the person over here just pushes down. Oops. Sometimes it doesn't grab the basketball exactly. You can turn around and I can aim at the basket. Then as number eight, I can pull it back and try to make a shot. While I'm doing that though, the other player is definitely gonna be trying to do this. So that I can't make it. But if I pull this back, oh, close. So then the ball would roll back here. Now you'd normally just play with one ball. This was just in the playing field. But now it's number one. So the other team has the ball, they'd pick it up. And he's gonna try to shoot it now. So number 10 or the red team would try to block it and he would pull it back. And he made it. So that's how the game would work. And you would do that till someone got five. And there's these little markers over here which you can put the score up. So yeah, this game is not super fast paced. As you can see, I if I wanna pass it and then it goes to the red team. It's it's not like the Lego Soccers, which I might review in a little bit, which are a little bit faster paced. Ooh, shot it over. Um, it's not like the Lego Soccers. The Lego Soccer, you go like, boom, and then take the other guy and hit it real quick. I'm sure a lot of you have actually never seen this set because this was a long time ago. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this set and the game features. Let's get on to the conclusion. First off, I do want to say this set is really, really cool. As you can see, they can pick up basketballs and actually launch them. I can take number three and, well, I guess I'd be going the wrong way. I guess I would launch them this way, try to score. And I missed, but it is cool. It's a great game. Now, if you're looking for pieces to use, these are going to be your least favorite set because really all you're getting is red pieces right here. And you're getting a bunch of stickers. None of these are printing. You got the sports logos, NBA, Legoland. This right here, I think that's the logo for what the basketball that owns basketballs. That's printed on the basketball. And then you got NBA.com. So if you're not a basketball fan, this is really fun because you get to shoot with Lego minifigures. Um, it's going to cost you a good bit of money, though. If you get it used though, I'm sure you can get it for a lot cheaper than paying 350 bucks on Amazon if you want it brand new, because there's only one on Amazon. So as you can see, these features over here are quite cool. Normally you don't see this from a Lego set, and nowadays you don't at all. Now there are some even more extension packs for this. There's a smaller NBA, or not, it's called a street ball, where you can play street basketball and it's only two on two. But this is like the big one. There is even a bigger one, but that one is going to cost you even more nowadays also. So, hope you guys like this review. It did take a long time, and so please hit that like button and that subscribe button. Most of my reviews will be on LEGO Star Wars, or there will be mocks, but if you are new to this channel, I do have a few random videos like this which aren't exactly LEGO. So. Let me, well, not exactly Lego Star Wars, that's what I meant. So let me show you this instruction manual real quick. You got the Lego Sports logo and a basketball, which the Lego basketballs don't exactly look like that. If I grab one, they're just plain. And turn the page. Here's all the other Lego basketball sets. I'm sure some of you have never seen these before, so it would be pretty cool to show you. Um, these are like players that, like, played back in 2003. I have a few of these sets I might go over a review. There's smaller basketball sets. Here's the street basketball set. So you might be able to pick that up for a lot cheaper if you want to just play some Lego basketball. So yeah, that's about it for the instruction manual. It is a huge one. 
And hope you guys like the review. More reviews coming soon and my questions and answered video, which a lot of people have been waiting for that I haven't had time to do, but I will. So thank you guys for watching and um, please subscribe. Bye, y'all.